Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is a Bible verse today. Uh, by the grace of God, we re already read this Bible verse. I have that's what book of Gospel John chapter twenty-two the verses. The Gospel John chapter twelve verses um, forty-five. So Gospel John chapter twelve verses forty-five. In this Bible, forty-six Bible says, "I have come as a light into the world, that whoever believes in me should not ever in darkness." <laughs> Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. That's what I think. We are not the people of dark. Praise the Lord. We are the people of the light. That means uh, from God itself. So let us raise our hands. We can pray without wasting any time. We can pray to the Lord. Uh, none of God, Pastor Dennis, will be sharing this word of God from South Africa right now by online. We can pray to the Lord. When the time of sharing this word of God, may our God, let our God touch lots of souls, the people, those who are suffering the sickness, any kind of depressions, the anxiety, Whatever the facing the failures in your ministry, gospel work, praise the Lord. Let our God, Holy Spirit, let, let Jesus Christ reach by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the blood of Jesus Christ, all your body right now. When the time of prayer is one of God. Let us raise our hand. You can raise our hand. You can pray to the Lord right now. Heavenly Father, Father God, I pray. Heavenly Father, I pray. We pray for you. Heavenly Father, when Pastor Dennis is sharing this word of God, I pray for you right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are taking control of this session. You are touching each and every source, giving the anointing and power to each and every people. Heavenly Father, I pray, let the let's go, God, reach to the unreached areas in all the areas of the life, Father. Father God, I pray and bless each and every work, whatever you are doing for God. Heavenly Father, I pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are taking control of this session. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So God bless you, everybody. So uh, Sheikh the New Asian UK, very happy to invite Reverend Dennis Naran Sami to share this wonderful and powerful word of God to the nations. Pastor, you are invited, Pastor. Please unmute your audio. And bless you, bless you, man of God, Pastor Jolly. It's a great honor and privilege to be on this platform again tonight to preach, to exhort, and to teach the Word of God. Now, whoever is listening, wherever you are, whether you're driving, you're in your bedroom, in your lounge, or whatever you are, if you can give your undivided attention to the Word of God tonight, uh, you're going to be blessed. Uh, and this evening, I bring greetings to you from South Africa. And I believe that you're going to inherit a special blessing tonight. Uh, I'm going to speak to you on uh, hope and faith. Uh, the Bible says having hope in Jesus Christ uh, and having faith, uh, you know, you, you're going to be blessed. Hallelujah. The Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. Because he says those who come to him must have faith. In other words, you need to believe God that when you speak to him or you ask him a specific thing, you're going to receive it. Hallelujah. Now the Bible says hope is commonly used to mean to wish for something. That is the strength of a person's desire. When you desire, you hope to have this, that, and the other. Hope is the confidence or expectation we have of God as promised because he is faithful. Look at the word confident. I need to be confident when I come before God in prayer I need to believe that Jesus Christ is the word and he sent his word and healed all diseases. That's the word. So having confidence and having expectation, the Bible says we shall have it. Hallelujah. Because God has promised he is faithful. The best difference between hope and faith. 
wherever you're listening. Faith means as strong believing or trusting in God's ability to fulfill the desires of your heart. That is what faith is. Faith is built up from within you. That when you speak, the Holy Spirit gives an utterance, and then you find things start happening in your life. Therefore, he says, faith is a substance of for evidence of things unseen. Hallelujah. So the question is, how you and I believe God tonight? Because the Bible says faith comes by the hearing and by the hearing of God's word. Now, if you're listening to me tonight, you're going to be increasing your faith. You're going to be building up your faith uh, through the medium of God's word. Uh, and you're going to be trusting God more now. Hallelujah. We as believers must be fully convinced that God will provide all our needs according to his riches and glory. Now, what do we do not understand? He said, I am Jehovah Jireh, your provider. Hallelujah. Now, the point is, how do you believe God? How is your expectancy? Are you believing God for all that you have? Are you releasing your faith? And you say, well, my help comes from nowhere else, but it comes from God. That's where it comes from. So what I should say tonight, stop looking around. Many people are searching in the world, looking around. But your source tonight is Jesus Christ. He is going to meet your every need. It's how you believe God. Even if you are sick, how do you believe God for your miracle? If you're financially broken, how do you believe God? So let me tell you, there's a way out tonight. And that is to put your trust and faith in God. And nobody else, in no, no other avenues. As a believer, you are convinced through the word of God that God is your provider. Let me tell you, God honors his word. So then, hope on the other side as says, yeah, I believe it is possible, but I'm not sure it will happen. You see? Not fully committed, not fully believing. that you can have hope in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Start believing. God answers prayer. This Jesus that I know, he answers prayer. The Bible says the prayer of the righteous availeth much out of the Abundance of his heart, his mouth shall speak with hope and having faith that Jesus is the provider. He is the healer. You can have great exploits, breakthrough in this walk of life when you really put your trust and faith in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. All might have failed you. People might have failed you. But Jesus will never 
as I said to you, he is faithful. He promised you. I'll never leave you nor forsake you, but I'll always be with you, save the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's continue. Being in faith is being fully confident. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 3, 20, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us exceedingly more than what you ask for more than what you have expected for and plus on top of that he multiplies your provision hallelujah above all we ask or think according to the power that is in us so I believe that we need to have a quickening in our spirit that we get connected. Let there be an explosion. Let our spirit connect with the spirit of God and let something begin to happen in our lives. So what I'm saying that we ought to simply believe in Jesus Christ, accept him as your personal savior. He is the Lord of your life. He is the beginning, he is the end. There is no other. Ephesians chapter 1, verse, uh, chapter 1 and verse 11. Furthermore, this is Paul to the Ephesian church. He says, furthermore, because we are united with Christ, we have received an inheritance from God. Come on, we all have an inheritance. God has given us all a portion of his blessings. His blessings have overtaken you and I. They are going before us. Some of us are so blindfolded. Our spiritual eyes are still closed. Therefore, you cannot see the blessings of the Lord upon your life. The dreams of God in your home, in your family. It's time that we spoke to God and say, well, open my eyes, Lord, so that I can see. Hallelujah. For he chose us in advance before the foundation of the earth. He makes everything work out according to his plan all things works together for good to them that love the lord now that is god's plan if you love the lord you will surely inherit the things from above allow me speak to speak into your life tonight in order to have a vision of victory for your life, you need to have faith put unto action. Hallelujah. We are still struggling in our workplace. Promotions didn't come your way because something went wrong. Somebody else stepped in. Hallelujah. So therefore we are reminded tonight. We are unable to live a normal life. In other words, death free. The Bible says, you know, if you throw your bread into the water, 
After many days, it will come back. Yes, friend. It's time that you sow your seed into the kingdom, into the treasury of God. When God talks about tithes and offerings, you give unto the work of God. That's why you are lacking in your life today. Because you haven't been giving. The Bible says your blessing is in your giving and not in your receiving. Hallelujah. So what belongs to God belongs to God. Give it unto him. It's not questionable. That's your portion. Hallelujah. Start sowing into the kingdom of God. And when that happens, you'll see how you benefit in everything. Some of us are withholding our blessings. Why? Because we draw back. We listen to other people what they say. Listen to what God says. So, into the kingdom. Hallelujah. Then you'll find that everything is going to work together for good for your life, your family. You will not have a shortfall. Hallelujah. When you are faithful to God, God is faithful. All I am saying to you is God will reward you. Your diligence and you that I am speaking to will reap the harvest. Your coming in shall be blessed. Your going out shall be blessed. You'll be the head and not the tail. You'll be a lender and not a borrower. Come on. That is God's word. You want to feel or experience the abundance of his blessing? So start sowing your seed, which is your portion, into the kingdom of God that it will be used to promote the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let's go on. The Bible says in 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 9, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men, men count slackness, but his long suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish, but all should come unto repentance. That's what God's plan is for you and I. That we should not go to Christless eternity, but to go to everlasting eternal life. So God has offered us, Jesus has offered us salvation by dying on the cross of Calvary, setting us free from our sins. The Bible says, while we were yet dead in sin, Christ died for the ungodly. We were dead in sin. Breathless. When Christ looked at us, he stepped down from his throne. He came into the sinful world. He took upon himself our sins and he became sin. So that you and I can be sin free. Where is your appreciation? 
How do you thank him? Knowingly that he did this for you, you that I'm talking to tonight. And you just ignore him. Like nothing happened. He bore your iniquity, your sins, your sickness, your disease, whatever you may call it, so that you can be set free. Hallelujah. God's purpose for our lives is our destiny. That's God's purpose. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. And when I come again, I will receive you unto myself. There where I am, you may be there also. Purpose. God wants good things for you and I. But what do we do in return? We reject it by not believing what God has said in his word. Destiny is what God has destined us to become in his divine will. And God's ultimate will is the advancement of his kingdom, his glorification. And the salvation, sanctification of his children through his son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That's what the advancement was for his kingdom. That we as his children can glorify him. We have salvation to enter into the kingdom of God. We are being sanctified as children, as sons and daughters of Jesus Christ. Each of us is also designed to play specific roles in his kingdom. And we thank God for that. Hallelujah, we play an important role in the kingdom of God. The Bible book of Titus chapter two, verse 13. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our savior, Jesus Christ. That is our hope. We're waiting for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. When he shall appear in the clouds of glory. The Bible says time shall be no more. Yes, Jesus Christ who gave himself for us. That we might redeem us from all iniquity. Purify unto himself a peculiar people. Zealous of good works. Yes, how is your works today? What does it look like? He says, these things I speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Bible says, let no man despise thee for the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared unto all men teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly loss, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Remember, God created you and I. We are the temple of God. We are the tabernacle of Jesus Christ. God lives in us. Therefore, he said, let your light so shine amongst men when others see they will glorify the Father in heaven. 
He is the light of the world. So we need to portray this light that people may see. Furthermore, because we are united with Christ, we have received an inheritance from God, for he chose an advance before the foundation of the earth. He made everything work out according to God's plan. What is God's plan for your life tonight? What is your his plan? is to live a godly life well pleasing to God. The Bible says you are the chosen generation, a royal priesthood, holy nation, peculiar people, that you shall show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past we are not a people, but a now the people of God who had not obtained mercy, but now we have obtained mercy. Simply to say so, that we were full of sin. We were in darkness. We were blindfolded by the devil. But today, because of his death, we have been freed from all these things. He brought us into his marvelous light. And we have a name today that is above every other name. The name of Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. He is the beginning, he is the end, there is no other. At this name, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. No matter who you are, what you are, he is supreme, he is God, the creator of the heavens and the earth the Alpha and the Omega. That is he who we are talking about. The great I am, the lily of the valley, the bright and the morning star, the fairest of 10,000. Hallelujah. Come on, friends. This is your God, your Savior that saved you from the clutches of the enemy, set you free, and you are free indeed today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God's choice in election occurred before time and creation, emphasizing that this choice was based on God's sovereign purpose not for human merits. That was God's plan and purpose for mankind to lay down his life for you and I. Hallelujah. What a miraculous work he has performed in our lives. So what shall I say tonight? Do I look unto him that has done so much so that today we can be totally dependent upon him? He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you, but I'll always be with you, save the Lord. Promise. You go through the fire, I'll go through with you. You go through the water, 
I will go through with you, no matter what you go through, no matter what your situation you're placed in, whether it's financial, whether you have a total nervous breakdown. Tonight, Jesus is the answer. I'm saying trust in him. Hallelujah. He's available. The songwriter says there is room at the cross. Yes, there is still more. One more room at the cross for you. It's not his will that anyone should perish, but all should come unto repentance. That is the plan and purpose of God. The Bible says if one sinner repents, the angels in heaven rejoice. Now, who cares how many people that I'm, I'm preaching to tonight? If there's one man listening to me, uh, praise the Lord. If there was one sinner upon the face of the earth, uh, he could have still stepped down and came and died for that one sinner. Hallelujah. And that's how so precious a soul is in the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Come on. People might not think anything of you. But you are precious in the eyes of the Lord. God loves you. Jesus loves you. No greater love at man than the Lord Jesus Christ. That he laid down his life for you. And me. That's why I can stand here, I can sit and preach boldly, speak about the goodness of the Lord, because this is what is done in my life. So I'm sharing it with you, that you also will have a good life. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his holy name. Now, in closing, let me tell you, Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. Don't hold on to the things that are behind you. Then you won't be able to reach for the things that are before you. That's what Paul says. Let go. Forgive and forget. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Forget about the past, what happened yesterday. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Your mindset is renewed daily. God gives you a heart of flesh daily. So you can be a loving and a forgiving person. And that's what I'm here to tell you, standing on this platform. As Paul said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it has power to set the captive free, to set those people that are bound by the chains and the shackles of the enemy that are choking. God can liberate you tonight. The Holy Spirit can destroy the powers of the devil in your life that's keeping you down. That's a God we serve tonight. A God of peace. Hallelujah. I want to pray with you tonight. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. I bless you tonight, and I thank you for your word, and I thank you for those people that are listening out there. Father, if there's one tonight will say, I accept Jesus as my personal Savior, you said the angels in heaven will rejoice. There will be a new name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Tonight, Lord. 
open their blind eyes that they will get to know Jesus and receive you as the personal Savior, the Lord of the life. Do not help Lord. those people that are unwell, sick in their bodies. Touch, heal them, Lord, from the crown of their head to the soles of the feet and make them every home. I pray for Pastor Jolly and this mission, worldwide mission. It's going to grow strength to strength. Father, no word spoken against it. Father, no word said against the servant of the man of God. Is going to come anywhere near him. Every opposing spirit, I cancel it in Jesus' name. And I plead the blood of the Lamb. Father, the door that you open, no man can shut it. This door you have opened. You called your servant, Lord. Before the foundation of the earth. To be your servant. To preach. To teach and to exhort. And to bring healing into the lives of people. Father, we want to thank you tonight. For great is thy faithfulness. Father, I pray every financial need shall be met. Every material need. Father, you're going to provide. And Lord, we pray for souls. We pray for souls to be saved. Lord, in his country, in his town, in his city, that people will give the life to Jesus, be baptized, and they surrender themselves and work together with him, Lord, in the ministry. Father, we thank you. We also thank you for every cheerful giver that is contributing or wants to contribute into this ministry tonight, I pray that you'll bless these people as they will open their hands and they will give up. Father, we thank you and we bless you tonight in Jesus' mighty and holy name. I ask this mercies. Amen and amen. Over to you, Pastor Jolly. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pastor Dennis. Thank you for the powerful word of God today. That is what Amen. you are saying. And uh, Second Peter chapter 3, verses 9, you said the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Yes. As some count slackness, but is long-suffering to, toward, praise Lord, to you, Lord, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Right? This is what, okay? Amen. So this is what. Somebody is challenging, why is your God? Where is your God? Okay. This is what mm -hmm. our God is still waiting for you. But if you are not coming back, there will be another COVID or whatever. Your life will go to the perish. You will get perish. Directly you will go to the hell. Praise the Lord. Um, yeah. Don't uh, challenge God. Because everybody, praise the Lord. So what do you have to think it? We have, what do you have to do it? We have to and this is a today's acceptable day, which our God is giving to each one of you. Today, I have to accept this God is your Lord and Savior in your life. Praise the Lord. That's what every supposed Paul said, a pastor was saying, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ because this is the power of the Lord. It, this brings salvation to all of you, the people, those who believe in Him. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, we can let us pray right now. People, those who are watching online, thank you. Pastor Dennis, this is a powerful word of God. May our God bless everybody. We can pray one okay. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, especially I pray for this man of God right now. Heavenly Father, okay. I pray. I pray for especially to get the spiritual anointing from um, uh, anointing from the heaven to this pastor. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I pray. I pray for this pastor to get the healthy body, revelation Thank and you. wisdom and knowledge from Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Father God, I pray for the uh, revival of South Africa and all the African countries, I pray. In the name of yes. Jesus Christ, I pray. Father God, I pray. I pray for the people, especially the people, those who are watching from UK, Europe, and Africa, North and South American yes. nations. I pray for all the people right now, Father. 
as well as pray for the people, those who have the sickness, uh, sprinkle the blood of Jesus Christ, and declare the healing back in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, touch them by them. In Jesus' name. Somebody, God is why the visa, somebody is getting, I uh, you know the turn, visa is getting stamped, right? So that means you are thinking you have to go back, but you will never go back that country. Your visa is getting, uh, the, with a long years, right? So many years your visa is getting stamped. Praise the Lord. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bless him right now, Father, people, those who are waiting for the visa. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So the people, those who are watching, Sister Hannah, right? Uh, you ask the prayer, and I pray for you and your family. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you. As for the people, God bless you, Sister. God bless you, Nepal, right now. God bless you. I pray for Brother Joshua, Amber, uh, Benny Tundil, and Hannah, Rai, Mini Rilchi. I pray for everybody right now, the people, those who are yes, watching all right and the people, those who are in our Zoom meeting, I bless them, Father. Heavenly Father, yes. I pray for the people, those who are supporting our ministry by seed and prayer. I pray for them right now, Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Yes. So God bless you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship with our Holy Spirit be with you all. Surely, goodness. And mercy will follow us all the days of our life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forevermore. Amen. Amen. So God bless you. Okay. See you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Thank you. Thank you.